All right, what's up, everybody? Christopher Leon Johnson here. So I'm here to make this little video quickly, right? And the reason I wanted to do this video because um, I know that my name is in the headlines recently. It's in the headlines. Um, my name is getting a lot of controversy. My stuff that I'm doing is getting a lot of controversy. And I want to clear the air. So what's going on is now... Um, there's a lot of uh, stuff in the grapevine that, you know, I might be working on um, Athena's campaign for the state assembly. I'm going to make this clear. It's a potential. That's not a, uh, it's not like a guarantee. Um, I made a little tweet saying that, hey, I would love to volunteer for a campaign because that's like to do, help people out. And I'm willing to do it for not one dime because I really care about um, flipping that district from Transalt to um, back to the community. I really care about um, getting rid of the toxic, um, toxicity of Emily Gallagher, a real disrespectful elected official, so I'm willing to do it for free. But nothing's confirmed. Um, nothing's really going down yet. Um, I submitted my voluntary application, and um, I didn't get a contact back, but I'm not um, banking on anything. I'm not really expecting anything out of it. Um, like I said, if I'm, I'm lending my uh, free labor to them, then that's all I got to say. But now let me talk about the situation, right? Um, the people that are giving this the most heat, and you'd be surprised, are the people from Transalt. The people that works for Transalt and Riders Alliance and the various people that are working for um, Emily, um, Kristen Gonzalez campaign. Kristen Gonzalez. And I know why what's going on, guys, and I, I know what's happening, and the reason they are so pissed off because um, if you understand what's going on and um, the whole um, McGinnis Boulevard, it's a big situation that uh, when I found out about McGinnis, it's way bigger than what's on the surface, and what's happening is uh, it's a lot on the line with this um, 80 50 if, uh, assembly race. If Emily Gallagher wins this race over Athena, um, there's a big chance that the McGinnis project will go through because it'll be all interlocked in with the help of Lincoln Wrestler, who was for McGinnis. But if, if Athena pulls up the upset, and I know she will pull up the upset and defeat Emily Gallagher, it's going to cripple Transalt. It's going to cripple. Um, keep um, make McGinnis um, keep McGinnis safe. Um, those people, the Kevlar Cherotypes. Now, so people got to stand that this whole race is about McGinnis. It's nothing. It's nothing about other stuff. It's all about McGinnis. This race is all about McGinnis Boulevard. This is the big aspect about this race. Is about McGinnis Boulevard. Now, where I come in with this, right? And this is where, like, the reason that all the bike bros are upset because. They know this, and a lot of people in the Brooklyn um, Brooklyn politics know this about me, is that I'm really close to the Brooklyn Democratic Party. Um, I donated to the Brooklyn Democratic Party. I'm a loyalist to um, Rodney Bashar Hermlin. I'm a loyalist to, to the team Bashar Hermlin. I'm a, um, I'm a loyalist to the BK Young Dems. I'm not talking about the one that's ran by the progressives, just in Bristol Brandon Young Dems. Um, I'm loyal to the BK Young Dems that's uh, ran by Rodney Bashar Hermlin, and um um, Farrah Lewis' sister, Debbie Lewis, Debbie Lewis, I'm loyal to them. So they know that I am deep, I'm not deep, deep, but um, I'm really, really known within the Brooklyn Democratic Party. And they know that if I'm backing Athena, there's a big feeling that county is going to back Athena. And I'm going to make this clear, right? Um, I didn't have any contact in county in a few years. You know what I mean? Um... I know that um, there's a few members of county like Rodney Bashar Hermlin and um, a few others. They're um, they're they're supporting um, Broadway stages, so they're going to advocate for Broadway stages. But it doesn't mean that county will ever support Athena. So let's get that out the whim, okay? You got to understand this stuff. Doesn't mean that BK Dems will back Athena. They might stay out the race. They might stay out of it. You never know. So let's get that clear out the way. Now, that's the thing. I'm doing this stuff because I really care about a community that 
is a beautiful community. I really care about a beautiful community like Greenpoint, and I really care about a beautiful community like about, about Williams, like Williamsburg. I really care. I care about a community where it's a it's it's a Polish community and it's a it's a special community that is dedicated to the Polish community. And while you have Emily Gallagher who want to get rid of that community and want to turn it to some gentrifier um, area. Look what's going on with St. Vitus Bar, right? That's part of the situation. So it's a lot that people need to understand, like, that's why I'm doing this. I don't, it's not about what county wants. It's not about what um, the other people want. I, I care about trying to do the right thing for the people. This is all about with me. So going forward with this stuff, I'll make this clear, right? And I'll make this clear, right? Next few months, because they think that I'm going to help work on our campaign. I don't know. Um, they're going to rerun that video of me chasing down Liga Galapa all over New York, all over Chinatown. Now, let me make this clear, right? And I want to make this really clear. Um, Look, right? I did, I made that decision. I was acting a fool. It got viral within the New York City political world. It got viral throughout the state. Um, I got a lot of calls from people from high places. Um, they was pissed off about the video. Um, they told me what they felt about the video, and they wasn't happy. And, and you know, I really respect their opinion. And the reason I respect their opinion because I, I fuck with them and I respect them. So when they made that, when they made that clear, like, look, Chris, you know, you know, it was wrong that you did that. Um, to her all over Chinatown, didn't matter if you were right or wrong, like the way you handled it was like disrespectful and wrong, you know, I had to take it, right? I couldn't just say, well, how about this? No, it's not about that, right? But take that from a side and let's take it from a side and make it about me. You know, I felt that it was a bad move. It was a bad take. It was a bad thing that I did. And I have to live with that for the rest of my life. It doesn't matter that I, I get awards or plaques or features or anything like that. I still have to live with that. Now, uh, let me make this clear, right, about that, about Liga Galapi stuff, right? I apologize for that in August. I apologize for that when the video got out. And like I said, I was still I still apologize despite the fact that I got kicked off Committee Board 8. And I lost my press pass for 30 days, 30 real days. So let's keep that clear. Like, um... I am far from misogynist. I am far from a, um, a, a woman hater, which is really funny because I donate to more causes that are ran by women than men. I donate to more female candidates than men. I help out more female uh, people running for city council, state assembly, state senate than men. So um, in that context is really ironic. You know, people could say that, well, Chris, you're a ladies man. I don't really think so. I just, I mean, it's like helping a woman. I mean, I, I believe in women's rights. I really believe in women's rights. Um, you know what I mean? It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And let's keep on going forward with that, right? With this whole thing about, um, about the whole thing with the whole video with, um, with the situation, with, uh, fucking, um, the thing from 2023 with Liga Galapa, right? The trans are bros and the bike bros and all these haters that, like I said, they work on Team Emily and they know what's going on. They're going to try to use that video to get at Athena. Even if if she does not make a public statement, they will make they will try to make that video and put it to her campaign making media. And I know how it feels going to happen. Now, let me make this clear, right? And I'll always make this clear. Make this clear right now. You know, let's keep, let's talk about this. Let's keep 100%, right? Let's keep it 100. Now, um, Transalt and the Bike Bros have a person that they side with, have a person that they, they mess with, and his name is Kevin Lachera, right? Let's keep it real about this. Kevin Lachera is in a lawsuit right now, accused by seven women of stalking, and not one elected official. Not one media person, not one activist condemned this guy for making, for stalking seven women. Not at all. They take pictures with him. They stand next to him. They give him awards. They put him in the lights. They put him in the headlights. They call him a community activist. And what happens is he has a handler that is named Kathy Paul Price. And she is openly protecting this guy and people don't understand like 
people are going to, I mean, like I said, there's a video, like I said, I put on my, I put on my page recently, I was with, I with JQ, I'm going to tag JQ in this right now, um, and what happened was, and what happened was, we destroyed Kathy Park Price, and I brought up, and he brought up Kevin Lachera. Now, let me talk this right now, right, and I don't care what people think, right, Kathy Park Price own Street Pack. Street Pack is the political arm for Transalt, Open Plans, Worker Justice Project, LD, Los Luministos, and the Riders Alliance. So they are the political arm for the transportation bros and the bike bros. And what happens is Kathy Park Price, she owns all those members on the board, including Shabazz Stewart. And the reason I don't really get Shabazz Stewart because he's a black man. And I don't believe in disparaging another black man. But we got to make this clear. She owns Shabazz Stewart. She owns the guy. She owns Shabazz Stewart. And let's keep this clear. The litmus test for anybody that's running for state assembly, state senate, congress, city council, borough president, mayor, public advocate controller in New York City, and beyond. The litmus test with getting that street pack endorsement is staying silent about Kevin Lachera and his lawsuit by seven women, including a pregnant woman, for being stalked. If any elected official or any candidate that's one of the run for elected office dares condemn Kevin Lachera and dare say, look, Elected officials need to stand up and condemn this guy, and we cannot stand next to this guy, and we can't have him at our at our events because it's going to mess up what we got going on here. They won't get that endorsement from Street Pack, and that could cost them huge in a race where if the district is progressive, it could be a big different thing in their race. So before the trans trans old bros ever. Call me out on what I did to Ligia. Or anybody there to call call me out for what I did to Ligia. Look yourself in the mirror. Look at the other side of reflect of the other side. And start saying, like, why don't you call out Kemla Chair for his stalking? Why don't you call out Kemla Chair for his harassment of women? Myself, like I said, I am not proud of what I did to Ligia Galapa. I am not proud. And I'll never be proud. It haunts me every day. That I did that to her. Doesn't matter what was the situation about. She was alleged stealing money. She was pocketing the money. It didn't matter. There was no no reason, no excuse for me doing that to her. Because I have a sister. I have an auntie. I have a, a, a niece in my house. I live with my niece. I love my niece. Eight years old. Um, you know what I mean? So I, I understand that. But not one person of trans alt and open plans... And the trans pro and the trans bros will ever call out Kevin Lachera for what he did to a seven woman. He's in a lawsuit. I'm not in a lawsuit. I am not in a lawsuit. You can look my name up on any website. I am not in a lawsuit. My name is a is is not it's not common, but it's a, it's a lawsuit in North, North Carolina. That's not me. That's not my social security number. I can give my social security number and you can look it up yourself and see if I have anything in a lawsuit. I don't. I don't, have, I don't have a criminal court case. I never, had a, I never had a restraining order. Never did my life. Never did. I have a season assist because of what I did to her in Chinatown, but that was a season assist. It's nothing. What well, something is we have a lawsuit for stalking seven women that's in the New York State courts. That's something. You know, so let's keep it 100% here. Will you call me out for what I did? Call out Kevin Lachera. Because unlike Kevin, I apologize for what I did. I apologize for the stuff that I did. And there's a lot of women on all the sides that call me up and say, yo, uh, we know what you did, Chris. It was wrong, but we know the real you. And we're happy that you, we're happy that you apologized. And we hope you don't do it again. And I know I won't do it again. Because I'm not that stupid. It was on camera. It got out there. I'm not, I'm not proud of it. But it's what it is. Right? It's like in the Bible, because I believe in I believe in God. What happens in the dark always comes to light. That's how I feel about it. Right? What happens in the dark comes in light. I didn't want it out there. 
But it's out there. It got out there. Got out there. Got viral. I lost my spot on the community board. I lost my press about 30 days. That's it. I bit the bullet. And let's walk community board. Let's walk community board eight. Right? I got kicked off the community board. I uh, had a few people say, well, how much you go make a uh, go out there and fucking... No, I said, look. I was like, look, man. I, I'm not going to do that. Because you know why? Because if I if I start fighting back, oh, you kicked me off the board. Let me back on right now, so... That's not me holding... That's not me taking accountability for my actions. Right? Taking accountability for your actions when something happens to you, when you lose something, you got to take the L. That's the punishment. And I accept the punishment. And I really do. I don't hate Reynoso. I don't hate him at all. I don't hate his office. I love them. And I'm, I'm happy that I got kicked off the board. You know why? Because when I got kicked off the board, uh, I made more money being kicked off the board in record time than getting on the board, than being on the board. Because when you're, when you're on the community board, when you're on the community board, you can't do a lot of things. You can't say a lot of things. And you can't go against elected officials. So like I said, like it, it, sometimes stuff like that happens is a big blessing. So I'll never be mad at Antore Noso for kicking me off the board. I will never get mad at him. I will never hate the guy for that. Because it made, it's a blessing. It was a big blessing. I couldn't say a lot on the board anyway. Couldn't talk against this guy. I couldn't talk against his um, stupid plan about uh, transportation equity and, and housing equity, which is going to displace a lot of people. You would never see me uh, did, did the stuff that I did at the community boards. Uh, not community boards. The board board meetings and... And talking against the, the the city, yes, and all these stupid plans they had. You'll never see me doing that. I'm off the board. I don't have to um, be captive to anything. I'm more independent, and I'm happy about that, right? And it was unpaid, and you know, like I said, it was the only thing about being a community board. Yeah, you had a voice, you could speak as a member and say somebody. But majority of the time, let's keep it up, this guys. Is when stuff gonna go through, it's gonna go through. It's way out of my control and it's way out of a lot of people's control. If it goes through, it's gonna go through. Like I learned today, it was way beyond my control with the whole thing at the LPC meeting today, and it went through. But I tried my best. I tried by myself. So let's get let's get rid of that right there. Let's really get rid of that, right? So going forward, guys, it's just like yo, like call other people out. For the same shit that I did, instead of just trying to bury me what I did to keep your per person in political office, um, I know what's going on, guys. Like I said, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of dirty stuff, dirty shang is going on. Um, they know that Ethnina is picking up a lot of steam in the state of seven race against Emily Gallagher. She had a lot of support. She raised over fifty thousand um, dollars. The first filing of the the campaign finance, she got some great donations like um, Gil, Gil Seiger. Um, Brandy Pierce, um, there's a lot of good people that was donated to the campaign and they saw that and they getting desperate. It's desperation time. Um, she picking up more ground than Patty did. Shout out to Patty, Patty, uh, um, O'Sullivan. I mean, Patty O'Sullivan, shout out to him. He donated to the campaign for this one. So there's a lot of uh, momentum going on to a camp, momentum going on to a campaign, a lot of momentum and they, they're feeling it. She's feeling it. And you know just what it is. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad. At, like I said, I don't. Like I said, to be 100 percent with you guys here, there's no hatred at all. Um, with Reynoso, there's no hatred for anybody because of this stuff. I don't hate Michael Case because of this. Like I said, it's all desperation time here. This is desperation. Um, Team Emily at desperation, and they're getting, they getting desperate because they know. Look, if I get on that campaign, and they give me the wand, they give me the, the, the minivan, and they say, yo, I say, look, let me hit these spots. Don't need to hit these spots. I've hit these certain spots. They're going to be shitting their pants. They're going to be really scared. And they don't want that. Because once that happens, they're going to lose. Marjorie Valesquez lost by 800 votes. She lost by 800 votes because of me. I'm not saying that I was the re main reason that she lost by 800 votes. Because there was certain place that I stumped for uh, Christy Marmorato. There was a certain place that I stumped Chris Marmorato, and it got a lot of it got a lot of buzz, and it helped out because you know what I mean eight hundred votes it's a lot of votes. Your vote matters, and I'm gonna tell people this right now when you when you vote on June twenty fifth, twenty twenty five, your vote matters. Don't let anybody tell you different. Your vote matters. Um, don't let anybody tell you different. Your vote matters. Please go out and vote for Athena Simp Simpkins on, on June twenty fifth. And I'm gonna say this right now, guys. All right, early voting. Please show for early voting. 
Um, because early vote, that's when all the dirt shenanigans get. Make sure when you vote, make sure you, you vote. And if you could bring your grandma to vote, make sure she votes too. You know why? Because they might play these dirt shenanigans and doing vote fraud. Team Gallagher. So if you have grandma, she can vote. Put her in the car. Have her vote. Buy her Uber. Buy her Lyft. Here to vote. Because votes matter. If Dina could win this race by five votes, she could win by one vote. Remember that, guys. So your vote matters. And I'm going to say your vote really matters. Your support matters. Um, just please donate to her campaign. Please donate. It can be $1, $5, $10, $25, $100, $2, $3. Every donation counts. So that's what I got to say. And one more and, and a few more things. Like I said, like, like I said, before going forward, um, like I said, the whole thing about Galapa is fucked up. Fucked up things I did. Like I said, I got to replay that every day in my, my, my mind for the rest of my life. And I'm not happy about that. I am not happy about that. It doesn't matter. Um, I am not happy about that. I'm not happy with what I did. That's not my character. And I know that's not my character. Um, I know my character is. I know my integrity is. I know my integrity lies. I know what I believe in. Um, I got too passionate. And I'm not, I'm not proud of that. I took it too far. I'm not proud of that. I got over my head. I'm not proud of that. But like I said before, if y'all want to bury, crucify me for what I did to Liga Galapa, make sure you crucify Kevin Lachera too, who's working on Emily Gallagher's campaign, who's over the lights. And Kathy Park Price was a corrupt lobbyist. Corrupt, corrupt lobbyist. A corrupt lobbyist. Protecting this guy, Kevin Lachera. And making the making him the litmus test, his shenanigans, the litmus test of him getting of you of people getting support from transportation alternatives in Streets Pack. So, like I said, it's it's a lot going on here. It's a lot way bigger than the surface, deeper than the surface. A lot of people in Greenpoint know what's happening. That's why they're getting desperate about people like me working on that campaign, potentially potentially volunteering for a campaign. That's why the heat's happening, guys. People gotta understand it's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that's happening in the political world, uh, especially in the 80-50. 80-50 is way deeper than you think it is. Um, so I'm not, like I said, I'm not phased with what these people are trying to do, trying to say about me and, and the stuff that I'm trying to do. Like I said, people know my work, people know the stuff that I do. Uh people, I will that will never negate what I do. And like I said, um, before, like I said before, like I say, oh, what about Betsy Plummy? Like, whatever, man, Betsy ain't nothing, right? Betsy is for congestion pricing. She's hell-bent for um, driving congestion pricing. So, like I said, you could pray down all you want. Oh, I call, I cursed out Betsy. I don't care, right? You know what I mean? It just, it just whatever. I didn't, I never threatened her. I never fucking um, threatened her or followed her over Chinatown. Nothing. Just because you curse at somebody doesn't mean it's really bad. It's... it's yeah, it could be optically bad, but it's not as bad as what I did to Liggy Galapa. So let me make that clear, right? People could talk about, oh, well, what you did, no, it's nothing. People people curse out people all the time at press conferences. Just because I cursed out somebody you don't you you love or you support doesn't mean that it's a big, big issue. But it's it's whatever. But um that's what I gotta say, guys. I mean, it's just what it is, it's way deeper than you think it is. Um, it's way deeper than you think. Like I said, um, I know that, look, let me make this clear, right? And I'm in this right here. I, like I said, I'm not I'm not happy with what I did to her, the, the Ligia. And I, I apologize. I apologize to her face about that. Anybody can set it up like I said last year, 2023. If you have the balls to set it up between me and Ligia, if you do Zoom, into person, doesn't matter. Zoom person, give me the link. WebEx, put it, make it recorded. I'll do it. But don't. Don't act like well, well, Chris, Chris chased her over Chinatown. Chris chased over Chinatown, and he threatened her, and you know, blah blah blah. And he never apologized. You know, he he standing behind what he said to Ligia. It's not like that. It's not like that. And a lot of people know it's not like that. Just, just, just Team Emily getting desperate because they know that Emily's time is up. It's almost up, and they know it. And let me make this clear. Right. Um, let's talk about this right now. And I want to make this really clear. 25 minutes. I mean, make, make, wait 15 seconds. So people know I'm going to tag it in at the 50, 25 second mark. Give me one second. So 10, 21, 22, 23, 
54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 25. All right, cool. So let's go 25 minute mark. Let's go here. 25 minute mark, we'll tag it. One on Dilla, right? I'm supporting one on Dilla for state assembly. Like I said, there's another reason they get mad because one is going to get on the ballot. Um, people in the district, people in the 37th district, and they know that uh, um, what's happening with Juan, and Juan did not rape those women. Um, I found out there's some sources that uh, he didn't do it. Um, he did not do it to the women. He got set up by Julie Juan. So that's the thing I gotta say. So he got set up by Julie Juan. It's, it's, it's a lot of things that's happening in in um, North Brooklyn politics and Queens politics, uh, Western Queens politics that like. Is way deeper than what's on the surface. So let me make that clear here. Like I said, I'm back in Juan Dilla State Assembly. Re-elect Juan Dilla for 2024. Um, he needs he need a he need a solid he need a solid clean chance. So that's what people gotta say about that. So that, all I gotta say, I'm about to get off here. Upload to YouTube. I mean YouTube and Twitter, and that's it. So take care, everybody. I gotta go. Peace out. Adios.